What's your full name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Maxim Rabinovich. I'm from Florida. Where in Florida? Uh, around Tampa, a little town called Wamama. All right. Well, can you explain to me a little bit about what your project is and how you came up with it and what you're doing with it? Okay. Um, well, the, the basic objects of study are two mathematical models of fluid diffusion. Uh, now, fluid diffusion is the process uh, wherein a fluid moves from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Um, and it actually turns out to be similar to other uh, processes that form uh, bigger shapes from smaller ones. So we like to come up with mathematical models for it. One such model is called uh, IDLA, or uh, a bit more long-windedly, the Internal Diffusion Limited Aggregation Model. Wow. Um, uh, and it's basically a random model where we put particles down uh, at points on a grid, and we allow them to move from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. Now, it's random, but as it turns out, uh, and uh, we can, we can in, on a large scale, it's not really random. It's, it's determined, and we can actually characterize its large-scale behavior. Um, and that is, is essentially what my uh, project does for IDLA processes in media that are homogeneous, uh, so they're, they're the same throughout, but in which movement is restricted in some directions. Uh, so, so what would the real kind of real world uses for this research lead to, or what would they be good for? Right. Okay. Well, um, it, it gives us a little bit of insight into the workings of the physical world because. Uh, IDLA has the same scaling limit as a deterministic model that uses continuous mass instead of particles. And that, that shows that, in fact, the geometries of the large aggregates don't depend on, on whether or not the, par the little particles are discrete uh, and on whether or not they move randomly or in a determined way. So, so that, that's the first thing. The second thing is that the terms used to characterize the behavior uh, are is essentially those of another mathematical problem that does come up a lot, I think, in engineering, called the obstacle problem. Uh, and so this, this can actually, these models can be used as a numeric uh, algorithm to solve those problems because getting exact solutions is often very difficult. All right, well, thank you very much. And hopefully we'll see more of this in your research somewhere else.